Check it out, ladies. 10 minutes or less. A new and unusual way to use your DSP that you're not certain what to do with. And we're going to do the inside and the envelope. Join me in the craft room and I'll show you how. Let's get started. For my card today, I'm going to be using the tabs for everything, specifically the For You. I am using Fresh Fig ink. I have a tiny piece of Whisper White, a scrap. I have a piece of Whisper White that's two inches by four inches. I have my piece that's four by five and a fourth for the inside. I have my card base that's five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a fourth. I have my envelope. I'm using some of the Petal Promenade paper and I'm specifically using the square and a piece of this spray and what I did was I cut this using the trimmer so that there's no border. I have my stamp and trimmer and my one and one eighth inch scallop circle punch. First thing we need to do is we need to cut our square, and it is a square, in half diagonally. So I'm going to line up my two holes, or my two corners, in the groove. And then I start it in the middle so that I don't have, um, it doesn't mess up my paper. And obviously my paper split, uh, slipped, so I trimmed it just a little bit. All right, now, I think I want this one. All right, this piece is gonna go on here like so. But if you look at this and this, they don't exactly match. So Highland Heather is a piece that is inside or it is one of the colors that match it. So I'm gonna pull out my Highland Heather and I forgot this to include um, a sponge, not a, a piece of sponge and I'm just gonna sponge on very, very lightly um, some color and I'm not certain it's gonna be the Highland Heather. It looks almost gray. Let me see, what do I have? You know what, I think I'm gonna use Smoky Slate. Let's see what it looks like with Smoky Slate. If not, I'll just cut another piece and do something else. But there's my Smoky Slate. And I'm using a piece of sponge versus a sponge dauber, so let me get that. Right. The reason I am using um, a piece of sponge and not a sponge dauber is a sponge dauber will leave um, if you're not real careful, we'll leave um, circles, rings. So what I'm going to do, not bad. I might do a combination. I think I will. I think I'll do a combination of gray and Highland Heather. Let's see what that looks like. All right because it's not exactly gray, but it's not exactly Highland Heather either. But I'm hoping that by using a piece of the Highland, uh, the gray behind it, the Highland Heather will kind of blend in a little better. All right, I got my sponge, and I'm gonna do this very lightly. And I'm starting off the paper and going in so I don't get any marks. And I think the Highland Heather is going to work with the gray. It'll have just a hint of color. Let's find out. Ooh, very close. I think I need a little bit more Highland Heather. So I'm gonna add a little bit more of that.
sometimes you just have to play with your colors. I think this is going to work. I like that, yes. So I'm going to leave it. So it was a mixture of smoky slate and highland heather um, to get that color. All right, now what I'm going to take and do is I'm going to put some glue on the back of this. I think I am. There we go. And I'm not using much because all I have to be able to do is to stick this down because it's going to go on my card base. All right. So I'm going to stick it down and I'm going to make it, I want to make it as even as I can side to side. And then what I'm going to take and do is with my snips, I'm going to snip off the bottom on both sides and I'm going to flip it over and snip off the sides. I've got to flip it back to do this side so that I get this shape. This is going on my card base, which I have as fresh fig. Oh, wow. Great, great, great. I love it, I love it, I love it. This piece I'm going to use, I'm going to trim it. Um, I know, I'm going to, I'm going to fussy cut it. I just don't like it square. I think it needs to, I got stuff stuck to me. So I'm just going to kind of trim around it. See, isn't that cute? Rather than add ribbon, because you know, you gotta add something besides ribbon all the time. I know I love my ribbon, but not everybody does. So I try to appeal to everybody and show them how they can use their supplies. And I'm gonna add some glue to this and I'm making sure I'm getting as close to the edge as possible. <laughs> I got a piece stuck to me. And I'm going to flip this over. And do I want it this way? No, I want it this way. I don't know why, but I do. And I'm going to put it right about there, even with the edge. Now, and I got a little glue there. Let me get my glue eraser when it dries. I'll wait till it's the very end. Now this I'm going to put on my card like so. Um, when it's dry I'll take and take it off. If you do it before it dries it messes it up. It doesn't work. So just wait till it dries. And I'm going to pull this down like so. All right. Time for our sentiment, which I'm going to do in fresh fig. I've got glue on my finger. Everything is sticking to me. And I'm just going to stamp the for you, and I'm going to stamp it in the middle because I want to punch it out. And this is going to be too small to hold on to, so I'm going to take a post it note. You know that trick? To use a scrap, use the post-it note. You can insert it, get it where you want it, and punch it out. See? Easy peasy. All right. This I'm going to put down here in the corner, and then I'm going to add some rhinestones. I know it wasn't on my 
I end up doing this a lot lately where I change what I add, but you know, sometimes you start on something and it, it just doesn't look right. So you have to, you have to adjust. I do that a lot. And I didn't do anything with this because I want it to be seen. So now let me get, I think I'm gonna put a little one there, one here, one, nope, that looks like two, two in line. I'll put it over there. And I think I need another one. Give me another little one there and then a big one there what do you think not bad it's a great way to use like border paper and create a fun card all right ladies there it is and I removed the glue that I messed up up there and I did the inside in the envelope I hope you've enjoyed my creation today if you liked my card, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to share it so other people can see ways to use unusual DSP that you're not certain how to use. Have a great day.